So you guys know that $2,250 minimum amount you need before applying for the Malaysian Working Holiday Visa? Yeah, so how much are you realistically going to be spending for the first month here once you've arrived on that visa? In this video today, I'm going to go ahead and help you guys break down exactly how much you should realistically expect to be spending for your first month here in the Malaysian Working Holiday Visa aspect. Now, of course, since exchange rates do fluctuate, we're going to be just using a standard exchange rate of 3.2. And now bear in mind that all the amounts that I'll be speaking to you guys, of course, in this video is going to be in New Zealand dollars with the Malaysian equivalent listed on screen somewhere there. Now, in terms of accommodations, of course, we'll just go with the cheapest option available, which is a eight bedroom backpackers dorm. So a bed in one of these dorms averages out to about $25 to $30 per night, which is roughly around $750 a month if you're planning on staying there for a month. So now as for transport, if you're planning on renting a car here, it is roughly around $800 a month for like a standard Honda Civic sedan. And that, of course, does not include gas, which is actually a whole nother topic entirely because here you have gas stations that will charge around $2.50 for a liter up to $4 a liter. So, you know, it's pretty much pretty crazy. But we'll just assume that gas will be about $50 a week roughly. So that is around $200 a month. But if you're planning on taking public transport, for example, here specifically in Auckland, there is this thing called an AT hop cart. Now, it's pretty much like touch and go back in Malaysia. And, you know, it is, it would be a lot cheaper if you get one of the monthly concessions, which does cost about $210. And that lets you take all the buses and all the um, trains here within Auckland, basically. Now, Uber also works and it's roughly about $20 per ride, but we'll just assume the same around $210 a month. Um, with Uber slash public transport there because you know Uber rides change depending on where you are and what time they are and things like that So the cheapest option here of course is to just walk with your own two feet and perhaps hitchhike sometimes But that's only easy for those who of you who are the extroverted type. So Yeah, and also I can't really talk about the other places here in New Zealand For example in Wellington and Christchurch because I haven't exactly been there yet but one day one day we will go on a road trip together and see the sights, yeah? Now on to food. So I've actually made another video about how much it costs for my daily meals that you can check out here. But the main gist of it is that there are a lot of sushi and kebab places here. So, you know, a lot of fast food as well. So we'll just take the universal baseline of KFC's menu to show you the average fast food to lazy to cook prices. Now, as you can see here, based off the menu, that you may notice that the only thing you might be able to eat is, of course, the salad, which is about $6.50. So we'll just add $2 for like a drink and extrapolate that to about a three meal per day kind of thing, which comes to roughly $770 a month if you're just going to eat KFC salad three times a day. So to summarize everything up, roughly for your first month here in New Zealand, that's about $750 for accommodations in an eight bed backpackers dorm, $1,000 if you're renting a car or $210 if you're planning on um, taking transport here in Auckland specifically, and about $770 for food, which brings the total to around $2,520 if you're planning on getting a car or around $1,730 with public transport. So yeah, that's, pretty close to that $2,250. So, you know, it's definitely there as a baseline for you to survive for at least a month while you're looking for a job. Because, you know, you, you, you are going to look for a job, right? While you're holidaying here? I hope. <laughs> because, you know, unless you're, you know, unless you're good with money. But, you know, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so that's pretty much all there is in this video today, guys. Go ahead and leave a like down below. Subscribe if you want more content from me specifically. And as usual, I'll see you guys in the next video.